What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Reef with Jack Reefer and I got another banger video for you guys today. So today I want to talk about the potential of the college football playoff expansion. Now there's a lot of talk going on about them needing to expand the playoffs, get more teams in, because four isn't enough. Well, I've got some mixed feelings about this whole process. Well, first of all, the wanting to expand the playoffs how many games do you want these kids to play? I mean, how many games of wear and tear can these kids take on their bodies, actually? And should we put them there and subject them to? If you think about it, I mean, football players, they're kind of like, at, a, at that level, it's kind of like going through a car crash every weekend when they play. And then how much can their bodies take? I mean, are we going to get to the point where injuries are just going to start piling up? I mean, look at the NFL. The NFL has their star players playing, you know, they're playing 17 weeks, 17, I believe, this year. <laughs> but, or, or take that, 17 games, I mean. But, if you look at the players, by year two, three, four, these guys are getting hurt. I mean, their star players are getting hurt. I mean, just this year alone, I mean, look at Saquon Barkley towards ACL, Dell Beckham towards ACL. This, now, granted, it's football injuries happen, but I think it has some aspects to do with the wear and tear of these guys playing all these games. So, how many games are, are we going to want them to play? There's a lot of talk about going to like a 12 team playoff, which, first of all, if they go to a 12-team playoff, they better set this thing up right because there's no going back to a 16, 18, 14 playoff after that. Once you go to 12 or up, you can't go back. There's no turning back after that. So they better set this thing up right because once they go up to that amount, they can't go back down. So personally, I think they should take it slow. Let's go to a 16 or an 18 playoff. Just something easy. Nothing, nothing too crazy. There's no need to rush and do 12 teams. So let's say they do six teams. Six team playoff. Which is where I would go with. You take, all you need to do is you just take the conference winner for the Power Five, each Power Five conference, and then one independent. Now granted, you need Notre Dame to join a conference at first because otherwise they're just going to take the independent spot. So you need them to join the ACC, but that independent spot is made for you know teams like Cincinnati last year, a team like UCF, for them to get into the playoffs and have a chance to compete with the big boys. Now, granted, all this expansion, I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make people. Like people last year were talking about how they want Cincinnati, Cincinnati to be in the playoffs. Do you really think Cincinnati had a shot last year at beating Alabama? or Ohio State, or Notre Dame, or Clemson. I, I don't think they had a shot. I mean, Luke Fickle's a good coach at Cincinnati. He's turning that program around. He's making them a very good contender in their respective league. But I don't think they're ready to play with the big boys yet. I don't think they would be able to compete against the big boys. I mean, look at the uh, FCS playoffs. North Dakota State has won eight of the past 10 national championships, and they do like a 12-team playoff. Even though they have a playoff system, the same team, their version of Alabama, is still winning eight of 10 years. And even look at the final four teams. Consistently, the final four teams are ranked one through three of the, at least three of the four final four teams are ranked one through four. So sometimes you'll, you know, you'll get a sixth seed in there, fifth seed in there, like, but usually it's the first seed, the second seed, the third seed, and then fourth seed or the fifth seed. You know, sometimes the fourth and fifth seed are interchangeable. Like last year, I mean, you probably could have traded out Notre Dame for Texas A&M. You probably would have gotten, it would have been, they were doing similar. They were similar teams. But I don't think a playoff's going to change the system drastically like people think it is, where it's going to make Roots go to different schools because they have more. They have shots to win a national championship because more schools get in. 
recruits are going to go to the same school. You think recruits are really looking at who's going to win me a national championship? No, they're the top level, the top level recruits that you're looking for are looking at who's going to develop me and who's going to get me to the NFL so I can make some money. And now the whole NIL situation, you can go watch my previous video about it, they're going to be looking at who can make me the most money in college off my image, name, image, and likeness. So those are the three things that these recruits are looking at there. Who can win me a national championship? It, it's last. It's, it's, near, it's last on their list of concerns, I'm quite honest with you. And then there's also people who say, oh, well, the bowl games are devalued. Players are just sitting out now. Go and the top players are just sitting out to go to the NFL draft. And yeah, well, I don't know. I don't have an answer for you on that one, buddy. That's, that's just going to happen regardless of what. I mean, it's happening now, and eventually you're going to get to, if, even if you expand to like a 12 team playoff, like some people want, which I think is ridiculous, you're still going to have that 12th seed who players are going to look at. You know, you're going to have a Cincinnati playing in Alabama. And that Cincinnati team is going to be like, uh, yeah, I don't like our odds. So the top players are, are going to sit out and go to the NFL draft. I mean, it's it's going to happen eventually in the playoffs, too, if you expand that much. I think if they want to expand it at all, they go eight, six to eight teams. You increase the value of the Power Five, or the Power Five championships, by just putting the winner in automatically, and then you keep two, three, so if you do 16, you've got one spot for a non-Power 5 team to get in. Or if you expand to eight, you've got, <clears throat> you've got three spots where you can get at-large bids in or whoever you want in. Now, one thing we have to consider too is with expanding the playoffs is how many games we want these kids to play. Are schools willing to shorten the regular season I mean, decrease their revenue to increase the value of the playoff system. Now, schools like Clemson, Alabama, Ohio State, they they may be willing to make that sacrifice, but would a team like South Carolina or a team like Boston College or a team like Ole Miss, that they're, they're not going to be in the playoffs, would they be willing to decrease or reduce the number of games in their schedule and lose out on more revenue than they could make in order to increase the playoff system, which I don't think they would. If I was those schools, I wouldn't either. No, I want as many games during the regular season as I can get in order to make the most money. Now, we also have to consider that increasing the playoff, the number of teams that get in, devalues the regular season. Because now you could have a one-loss Alabama, a one-loss Ohio State, a one-loss Clemson that gets into the playoffs. Heck, Alabama could probably lose two games and they'd still put them in there. Uh, and that's, that's something that, as a college football fan, I don't want to watch that. I want every game of the regular season to matter. That's the beauty of college football right now. Every regular season game does matter. One win could cost you, or excuse me, one loss could cost you a shot at a national championship. Now, that's just my two thoughts on this whole process right now. Obviously, the college football playoff deal doesn't expire until something like 2023. So we've, we've got a while to kind of work on the system we're going to put in place and what's going to replace, inevitably replace this 14 playoffs because all the chatter that's going on, I feel like they're going to change it up. I just don't know what they're going to do exactly right now. But personally, 6 to 18 playoffs, 6 to 8 teams in the playoffs is the way I would go. That's all I got for today, people. Have a great day. Tell somebody you love them. Peace.